The redesigned course structure is competency-based rather than content-driven, giving teachers the flexibility to meet students where they are and to spend time engaged in deeper learning. It also supports an inquiry-based approach to teaching and learning that's relevant, interdisciplinary, and includes Indigenous content and perspectives. And it also supports a holistic approach to teaching and learning through the inclusion of the core competencies. So at the heart of the new course structures is student choice, and that's a really important piece of the new curriculum and the approach. And what we're trying to do is tap into student needs and interests and in that way allow them to kind of explore things that they might like to explore. Uh, they're at a stage in their development where they are figuring out who they are. They're testing things out. They are looking at who they are in society. And so the notion of choice hopefully gives them that opportunity to see what might be of interest to them. The goal ultimately is to increase engagement. So what we find sometimes is that students by grade 10 have maybe lost interest in some of the uh, areas of English. It's been the same for a while. So the choice part of it allows students to get into something that might reignite that interest, that passion. And they may find something about English that they hadn't realized was out there. So the, uh, the shift to curricular competencies over a content-driven curriculum allows students to engage at a deeper level in their learning rather than rushing through a series of content pieces. Um, it may be easier for teachers then to kind of teach because they'll be liberated from the pressure of, oh, I've got this great list of things that I have to cover and perhaps the temptation to, to teach to the test. Um, and so they'll be able to really teach and help in help engage their students in what they need to learn. It is um, a curriculum that is more conceptual. We are talking about competencies. We want kids to um, take the content but apply it and um, kind of elevate it to a bigger understanding. So when we look at the, the redesign, it really is about going deeper instead of learning a fact or learning a term. So by shifting to a competency-based curriculum rather than content-driven, the idea is to introduce some flexibility into what teachers can teach and how students can learn. Uh, the idea that it's going to be hopefully more relevant and interest-based is great. That will help students to stay engaged. And it will provide those sort of authentic learning opportunities that allow them to develop critical thinking skills in a way that, in a very content-driven curriculum, that was perhaps less possible.